Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you. There we go. Um, thank you for coming here. I am Paul Bachelman. I'm the town manager. A beautiful day. Only marred because the person who made this all possible is unable to be with us today. Go to Green Park. So that's, a, that's very sad for us. She has been caring about this building, this library, for decades, as has her husband. And really wanted to do something for the community. And if you look behind me, to make this building available for all, to expand it so there's a community room, and to make it accessible for everyone, make it an ADA accessible. Today, we'll be officially cutting the ribbon on this spectacular addition and renovation to this historic, iconic North Amherst Library. And it's just, I, I don't know, I look at it every day when I go by, it's just gorgeous. Boone Riddle, you did a great job. for the generous donation um, and I have the honor of being the first person to say thank you to Hilda but there will be a lot of people coming afterwards who are going to say the same thing but it can't be said enough because this has really made a difference in North Amherst. We have a brief program this afternoon, just a few speakers. Um, I was thinking back to the first when we did the groundbreaking long ago actually and it was we had we heard a lot about the history of North Amherst and uh, so many shared so many people shared stories that was really a coming together in the community. And this library that we make up we hear stories about people coming there with their children, with their grandchildren coming here as children and then bringing their children. And it really has served as a, as a central point for the, for North Amherst for a long time. So and the big difference is there's now a community room. If you haven't gone inside, they'll be open for self-guided tours. The community room is where people can schedule it, you can have meetings, you can have events, and um, appropriately enough, the very first event that's been scheduled is the District 1 uh, Council meeting. Uh, I don't, Kathy will say it's about Councilors Freke Ate and Kathy Shane. So, Kathy. Get real close. Even louder? Better. Yeah, you can hear me. I'm Kathy Shane. I am a District 1 counselor, which this is this area. But I'm here today as a long time user of the library. And we have librarians that are beloved by our children and my mother. Cindy is here. Um, I know Cindy said she was going to come. Cindy A's brother. But, okay, great. Hi, Cindy and Dick. Both here. That's fabulous. Because what this used to be, and what it will continue to be, um, the bus route often ended right up here. And my kids would just come here and tell their parents to where they're late. And, uh, and, and they would sit and chat and read books. And if you can come here any day, it's open and see Yeah. 
is an AOC, what we have, and it's a treasure. So that, those are my remarks. And Joel, I'd like to have Joel Greenbaum to come up and just say a few words for us. Because what your family has given to us is a gift that's going to last well beyond me. So thank you so much. Library, a ribbon cutting ceremony. Uh, unfortunately, my mom, our mom, can't attend today, but she insisted that the show must go on. Must go on. <laughs> in Judaism, we follow a principle called tikkun olam, repair the world, or in our case today, giving back to our community. This is an ideology that our parents have been practicing our entire life. They were always generous with their resources and with their time. Our parents were longtime town meeting members, active on the ZBA, Board of Assessors, Historical Commission, very active at UMass, including the honors program that our father co-created and the faculty senate library committee chaired, to name a few. My siblings and I grew up one mile up the road, so we constantly rode our bikes to the newly created recreation area North Amherst Library. We have fond memories of reading books here. My mother is an avid reader and the North Amherst Library has been a home away from home for her. Later in her life she realized that the library building had a few shortfalls, most especially no place to park, one bathroom in the basement, and knowing the building was not accessible really upset her. This caused her to think about the, how the library might be enjoyed to its fullest potential for future generations. After much thought, our mom told us one day that she wished to design and build an addition on the North Amherst Library that would both resolve all its issues while at the same time making it an attractive site for the community to read and congregate. I've already called Paul, she says. <laughs> I thought it was an incredible idea, especially because we all knew how much the library meant to her. Our mom is fond of historic buildings, loves to read, and loves to garden. So the North Amherst Library exemplifies everything about her. All we need is a few bird feeders. So in conclusion, we would like to thank Paul Bachman, the town of Amherst, Coon Riddle, and Wright Builders for bringing our mom's vision to life. Thank you. Other people, 
And also, uh, did I miss anybody else? No. All right. Thank you. Um, I want to make sure that before I recognize um, our next speaker, which is Representative Mindy Dunn, that I just tell you, while Hilda spent some time talking to Paul about this, whenever she couldn't get Paul's attention, she texted me. <laughs> and then I would have to text Paul and say, Paul, Frida needs to speak to you. Now, for those of you that know Frida, that know Hilda, absolutely know that this would be her. She would make sure that she had our attention. So, Hilda, we wish you well. I do have a corsage here for her, uh, but and I'm going to give it to Joel, or I'll take it to her. That's okay. So, with that, I'd like to introduce Mindy Dom, but by saying that, I want to introduce somebody to you that has served our community so well in so many different capacities. First, as the executive director of the Survival Center down the street, but then becoming state rep. And Mindy has risen in the house, and we really appreciate everything she does for us day to day. And she periodically, maybe at least once a month, sends us an email and say, oh, by the way, this grant has now been awarded to Amherst. And we go, thank you. <laughs> You're doing a great job. Mindy Dom. And I have to say thank you to the town of Amherst for writing those grants and <laughs> submitting them. Um, it's such a joy to be here. Hi, Hilda. Thank you so much. I wish you were here. Um, you are a model of a person who not only talks the talk, but walks the walk. And I think for all of us, you're just a complete role model for getting things done. And if we needed a reminder, we've got one in the North Amherst Library. I just feel like this building represents so much about the good things about Amherst, about our generosity, our intentional building of community, our love of books and libraries, and our love of getting together and talking about them. So I just, I give it up to the effort to produce this, to create it, to underwrite it, um, and to the North Amherst community, who always finds a way to make sure that they're connecting to each other, even in the absence of the beautiful community room. I'm looking at you, Meg. I can't wait to see what the North Amherst Neighborhood Association does with the community room, but that's a whole other issue. We'll find that out. Um, I'm thrilled to be here. I'm thrilled to be part of this community. I'm very grateful um, for your support to allow me to represent you in the Massachusetts House of Representatives. I know I speak for myself and also Senator Joe Comerford, who is my partner. I'm not going to say in crime because we don't like to think of politics that way. Um, but our, my partner in the legislature, when I say such a well done um, effort and one that's so beautiful and so glad to be here to celebrate with you. I bring a citation from the House of Representatives of Massachusetts for the library. I'm going to give it to you. Okay. Um, and it basically just commemorates the ribbon cutting for this library. Turner, 
who has been advocating for the North Amherst Library for many years, also a former member of the Jones Trustees. Um, I think Lou, but from my perspective, Lou was most persistent and <laughs> never let up and really wanted to see this project happen, and, and it and she did. Um, the, and the, the thing that she always talked about was wanting to make sure that um, the librarians who worked here, it's a building, but it's also about the librarians. And the North Amherst Library is such a home to so many people, but when people think about the library, they think about the librarians. So we just want to thank all the librarians for having a big time to come here today. So thank you very much. Like nobody does this. 
they work through di disruptive delivery schedules and kind of delaying things and other challenges. I think it's a, it's a historic building, so you always find things as you go through it. So Seth Lawrence Lavis is the president of Right Builders. Stephen Barrett, vice president of Open Production. Claire Desell, operations coordinator at Great Ground, the project manager. And their entire team and subcontractors, we want to thank you all for putting their gear in time and effort into this. And who was watching over it on a day-to-day -day basis and making sure it all came out right? It's Guilford Mooring, who's our superintendent of public works. Oh, yeah. Along with all the other jobs that he has, he became our owner's project manager for this project. Um, he's a professional engineer, which we all know, and he was able to work with the designers and with the builders to bring this project through multiple challenges to where we are today. So thank you, Guilford. Thank you all for being here.